I'd like to introduce you to an advanced training concept that focuses on what's called the eccentric contraction. There are three types of contractions that the muscles are capable of producing. Two of them involve movement. One of them is a static contraction where the muscles are contracted without moving. Let's talk through these and I'm going to be demonstrating this with the chest press and I'm going to be focusing on the pectoral muscle uh, muscles of the chest in talking through this demonstration. The first type of movement is the one that we usually think of uh, when we think of a muscular contraction and that's the movement where you're pushing through the movement or pulling through the movement depending on which exercise you're doing but it's where the muscle fibers in this case the fibers of the pectoral muscle are shortening while they're contracting so when the pectoral muscle is pulling the upper arm in that across the body motion the fibers are shortening to perform that motion so this is the concentric contraction and then when you return to the starting position these same fibers of the pectoral muscle are now lengthening but they're still contracted as they're going through this lengthening to allow the resistance to be returned to the starting position that's an eccentric contraction the third type of contraction the isometric contraction or static contraction I'll get into the uh, mid-range distance here to demonstrate this. You would push out as far as you can push out, and then you hold it in that maximum push-out state, and now the muscles are contracted and they're not moving. That's an isometric or static contraction. Now, for that to be most effective, you'd actually want to be closer to the end of the range of your motion uh, because that's the range that has been proven to be uh, most dynamic for that static contraction. But today we're focusing on the eccentric contraction. So let's see what that looks like uh, doing the chest press. There's been a lot of research that's been done on this focus on the eccentric contraction and it has proven to be one of the fastest ways in developing both muscular size and strength. Now, concerning the muscular size or muscular hypertrophy, women don't really need to be concerned about this, and this could be considered a negative achievement by many women, because the, your muscular size is pretty much predetermined by your genetics. And even if you're given the gift of the genetics for large muscles, you have to work out very hard and be on a bodybuilder's program for that to be a concern. So let's just say that focusing on, accept, uh, on the eccentric contraction is a very advanced method of developing muscular strength quickly. So, what would this look like doing the chest press? I've been working out uh, at about a 3 to 1 ratio. So for however long it takes me to get in, through the concentric contraction, I take three times as long to allow the resistance to move back to the starting position. So I've been using a four count to achieve this. Now, the biggest difference here is that longer period of time for the return. Up until now, in, des in describing how to do the basic four, I've been instructing that go ahead and keep a nice, constant, steady pace. However fast you're moving out, go ahead and use that same speed to return back in. This is a totally different approach. For this one, you're more shooting toward exploding out with power and then allowing the resistance to return relatively slowly to the starting position. So, for that 3 to 1 ratio, I've been using a 4 count. So it would look something like this. And I'm going to go ahead and go through the flying arm motion, but I'm going to be talking through the 4 count of the uh, pacing or the rhythm of the concentric and eccentric contractions. So it would look like this. One, two, three, four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. Five, two, three, four. Six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine, two, three, four, ten, two, three, four. 
So you can see that this is a completely different approach uh, to working the muscles. It can take a little bit more focus and it can be more exhaustive because of the extra stress uh, you're putting on the muscles to go through these movements. You may want to consider just going ahead and doing five movements to start off trying out this kind of uh, pattern and then go on to your next exercise do five more movements out to the open or out position and then go, go on to the next exercise and as you build up see if you can start doing all ten this is a powerful way of working out and I would advise you as soon as you've uh, worked up to a place where you think you're ready to take this on to give it a try and see the results that you get